Hello there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 16-Bit on PC. Yeah, that works. That's a lot better than calling it Sonic 16-Bit Remake on the PC, that's for sure. But uh, anyways, on to the water world of the game because of course every every Sonic game, in fact every game in general, at least our platforms ha platformers have to have a water world. It's like an unwritten code. Like if you don't have, you know, one water world, then it's no good. But the good news is, Title Plant is actually pretty solid in my opinion. I actually don't mind this zone. In fact, I like it quite a bit. At any rate, it's a lot better than the Labyrinth Zone. Let, let's just get that out of the way right now. Seriously, I will die on this hill. Labyrinth Hill sucked back then and it sucks now. Seriously, screw Labyrinth Zone. Even in the new Sonic Origins game where you can play as Tails and Knuckles and Amy and all that, which by the way, you can finally download the extra content. I don't know if I ever posted that on my uh, community tab. But uh, yeah, finally they fixed this so you can buy it or download off of the uh, eShop now. So thank goodness for that, because I was curious to see how Amy plays. You want my opinion? Meh. It's, uh, it's, it's fine. It does have uh, Sonic uh, Game Gear games, though. It has uh, Triple Trouble on that in case you want to play the 8-bit original, which is kind of cool. But I'm playing the 16-bit version, which is better. But uh, that's just me. Anyways, back on topic. Even playing that with, you know, Tails and, you know, Knuckles, all that, no, it, it still sucks. I still don't like Labyrinth Zone. Title Plant, though? Oh, yeah. Really fun zone. Do I think it's as fun as Hydro City from, uh, Sonic 3 Knuckles? Well, that's a tough one to say. I'd say if we're just comparing Act 1, mm, I'd probably prefer this one. Act 2, though? Well, let's just say Act 2 is very, um, let's say unique. You, you'll you'll see it in, uh, in time. Don't don't you worry. Anyways, let's uh. Oh darn it! I missed. I'm trying to get up there because I'm pretty sure there's something up there. But uh, who knows if I'm gonna make it at this rate? Oh, well, I just magically made it up. How nice. Anyways, let's use these fans to uh, push ourselves upwards and continue on. Yeah, I also gotta say this is a lot better than Oc Aquatic Ruin Zone from Sonic 2 as well. Don't get me wrong, Sonic 2 is a good game and all. Sonic 1, it, yeah, it's fine. I, I don't love it per se, but it's fine. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say this is probably either the second best or the best of uh, 2D Sonic Water Wolves, in my opinion. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I kind of I think I might prefer Hydro City. Hydro City is really fun. It's got some really good speed. This is more platforming, which I, I do like, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't know. It's about Hydro City. At least Act 1 and 2 I really like. Plus, that music in Act 2 is so freaking good. I love it. Music here is also good, don't get me wrong, but Hydro City Act 2, oh man, that music really pumps you up and it's awesome, I love it. But the good news about uh, this uh, zone is that, uh, like Hydro City, you don't even have to be in the water that much, which is nice. Because being in the water in a Sonic game really sucks, because all, all it means is that you're just going to be, you know, moving around really slow and that's it. It's not like Mega Man where it just, you know, makes you jump high and whatnot, and it's fine. Not like in uh, Mario, where at least Mario can swim, and therefore it's okay. I, I still don't really like most water worlds in Mario, I won't lie. The exception being uh, to Mario 64, I do generally like uh, Jolly Roger Bay, or whatever it's called. I can't memorize all the worlds in Super Mario 64, are you kidding me? I love that game, but I can't memorize all those names. That's too many names. Anyways, moving on. Oof, sorry, I'm I'm yawning a lot for some reason. I stayed up pretty late last night. I was playing Pokemon Yellow, which uh, let's get this out of the way. No, I'm not LPing any Pokemon games currently. I mean, if there's ever enough demand, sure I'll LP Pokemon Yellow or Pokemon Fire Red on GBA or something like that. But uh, if it's one thing Mario or Paper Mario has showed me. You guys don't seem to be too interested in my RPG LPs. I only done one so far, and obviously it's gone on very long. 
And I just noticed today, I got a copyright notice on uh, the latest part for some reason. I don't understand that, but uh, I'm gonna do, do my best to just ignore it for now and just, you know, I'm not making money off these videos anyway, so what do I care? Hopefully it won't be a problem later down the line. But, you never know. Do I always take copyright notices very seriously, like, uh, my LP The Wolf Among Us? Hey, you guys remember I LP The Wolf Among Us? <laughs> of course you don't. Nobody, nobody can watch that one. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, though, uh, for some reason, some of the music tracks in that game were, uh, copyright claimed, and I don't know why, so I had to go back and replay the game and, you know, mute the, uh, the music, and it was, it was annoying, to say the least. Especially because it was my favorite track in the game, which sucked, but it is what it is. I don't know what I'm going on about this and that, though, but, uh, yeah, it's just something I just found out, and it's, it's on my mind, what can I say? So, yeah, why not talk about it? So if you ever wonder whatever happens to Paper Mario Part 37, I just know, yeah, there's a copyright notice on it. Maybe I had to delete it, I don't know. Hopefully that don't happen, hopefully it just disappears on its own, because I don't have uh, the no commentary version anymore, so I can't exactly go back and just give her the music. But even then, how would I mute the music without, you know, muting the, the sound and whatnot, I don't know. Anyways, time to take on Fang again. Remember him? Yeah, it's been a while since we've taken him on. So now he's got a uh, new machine. Well, it's still the same machine, but he's got a new attachment. He's got that ball and chain. And uh, at the end, you got to bury him like Triple H again. I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> yep, just bury him like Triple H <laughs> during the Reign of Terror, as it was known as. Alright, so now we're on to Act 2. And Act 2 is very unique, like I said. Why, you ask? Well, there goes uh, some weird worm thing, for one. But more so, this. From Tails Adventure, we got the Sea Fox. At least, I re at least that's what I recall being called. That is so cool. What an awesome reference to uh, so Tails Adventure on the Game Gear. But again, Tails Adventure on Game Gear. Fun game, in my opinion. Do I, do I love it, love it? No, but it's still fun. I still like it. And, uh, cool thing about this, if you get hit, you don't lose all your rings right away. You just lose, like, ten or something like that, so I like that. And, uh, also got this drill on the front, which is pretty much useless, I'm not gonna lie. You got an un unlimited missile, so why wouldn't you just use the missiles to take out all the enemies and whatnot? I imagine you can, like, drill the enemies and whatnot, but, uh, would've been cool if there was, like, uh, walls and whatnot that you'd have to break through in order to, you know, progress. Like, how about instead of a switch there, how about let me drill through with the drill? That would've been cool. That is what it is. That looks like it's cracking. That's not good. Oh. Oh, good thing we're on the Sea Fox. I guess we're not going that way. What's up here? Another one? Okay. Cool. That, that's cool. Anyways, let's uh, continue on down. Let's continue on. Oh, many one of those. That's, that's cool, I guess. Let's take it out. Get a thousand points for it, so why not? Yeah, easy points in this level. Man, I gotta stop yawning. Yeah, I've had a long day, though. I actually went down to uh, a toy convention downtown where I live, and that was pretty fun. I got to meet Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, and that was awesome! I doubt they'll ever watch this video, but if they ever do, I just want to personally say thank you guys for being so awesome. I love the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. You guys helped me get back into wrestling better than anybody else could. Along with my brother-in-law. Anyways, though, let's uh, continue on. A lot of uh, spikes and, spikes and whatnot, you know, spiky enemies, spiky balls. A lot of spice going on, despite the fact that we're in the sea box and we don't have to worry about drowning or anything like that. Thank goodness for that, too. So, uh, what do I think of this act, you may be wondering. It's fine. I, I, I will admit it's a little long for my liking, and the boss is very, uh, let's say, mediocre. But the sage itself, for the most part, honestly, if it didn't go on so long, I'd say it's really great. Really great reference, uh, Tales Adventure with the sea fox and all. 
So I don't recall this being in uh, Triple Trouble at all, not the original. So, pretty cool in my opinion. But you want to know how I feel about this uh, zone with uh, Knuckles? <laughs> oh, you guys are in for a treat for that, because God, I hate it. Yeah. But if I need more reason to not want to play as Knuckles. Alright, well, we made it to the boss, at least. Made this in... Hey, this didn't drag on as long as I thought it did. It must be thinking the Knuckles won. Eh, whatever the case. That's not good. Our missiles aren't doing anything to this thing. Oh, what's going on? Wait, what? Oh. Knuckles! Speaking of which... So, yeah, it's basically just, uh, shoot a Knuckles and that's it. It's, uh, very basic, very easy. I don't have a lot to say. He does have that shield that you have to shoot at and whatnot, but, you know, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Or maybe, the, maybe it just goes away when he shoots a missile. I don't know the pattern exactly. All I do know is he's really freaking easy. Wait, what? Let's go. What? Metal Sonic? What's going on here? Wait, what? Are you telling me we haven't been fighting Knuckles at all? We've been fighting Metal Sonic this entire time? The plot thickens. Maybe we'll get an explanation for this in the Knuckles run? Maybe? Anyways, on to title plan, Act 3. I actually forgot this as in Act 3. Yep. There goes Metal Sonic. Oh. That's just gonna bounce our heads, okay. Oh, Jet Boots again. Nice! I guess we gotta go fight Metal Sonic now. Yeah. Catch up to him, yeah! Oh, he's just gonna leave the rocket, okay. I guess he wants to have a fight. Good for us, I guess. Not really, because, uh... I'm gonna be honest, this boss fight is, uh... Kinda annoying at times. I mean, it's not horribly hard or anything like that, but it can be kind of hard to hit, uh, Metal Sonic, since, you know, you're always flying upwards like this. It's the only way I can really find to hit him, since you can't jump while you're floating like this is to roll into a, a ball and hit him that way. And the problem with that is it can be a little hard to time sometimes and not get hit yourself, so... I, I don't know. This one's just... eh. Yeah, that's definitely not one of my favorite bosses. But hey, it's not long at least, so there's that. Now we grab onto the rocket and wow! That was a quick act, wasn't it? Right, here we go, into space! Every Sonic game ever has to go into space at some point, right? Is that just an unwritten rule? I don't know. And we finally made it to Atomic Destroyer. And we got enough time to do Act 1, so let's do it! Why don't we? Hello. Oh. That, that's annoying. Oh. I just fell. So, those robots can be particularly bad, because uh, as soon as they get sight of you, they're going to freaking, you know, attack. And that's not good for us, so gotta be careful of those. I also got all these areas that, uh, you know, have the air that push up, push you up and down. It's not so bad, in my opinion. I, I don't mind those. Anti-gravity. I like it. And more platforming here. That's cool. That's cool by me. Nothing wrong with some platforming. Let's just fly over here, why don't we? Save ourselves some time. Oh, that's why we don't want to do that. Whoops. Ah, well, it's not like I need the rings anymore, because I don't need to get in special stages or anything like that. And yeah, another Springer on the side. Nice. Could you imagine if I had run into that and ran back into the spikes? Oh, that would have annoyed me. Fortunately, that didn't happen, though. Crap, those missiles home in on you too. Oh no, oh thank goodness. Wait, take one for the team, Sonic. Alright. Oh, land on the platform, nice. I thought for sure I was gonna fall through, but apparently not. That's that's good though. I like that. Alright. So let's head on up here. Oh no, I fell in the 
Not there yet. <laughs> I mean, that's not lava or anything, so I don't know what that is. I guess it's just heat, heat it up or something? I don't know. Anyways, hit the lever, come to the right. Bang, again! Aw, oh, Freaking, uh, blew us up. Well, not blew us up, but- OH NO! I fell. That's not good. Well, anyways, folks, I guess we'll pick it up from here next time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all then. Later.